Hi, my name's Irene Walton, if we haven't met before. Um, I thought it might be nice to have some lunch together. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but I used to suffer aggressively from an and you can watch that video right there. And I know that sometimes if that might be something that you or a friend or somebody you love might be going through, you might know that it can be hard to sit down and eat depending on what you might be dealing with up here. So I thought it might be fun to eat together. So maybe if you need a little distraction or maybe if you just move somewhere and you're feeling a little lonely or you're going through a breakup and you want to talk to a friend or you're just fucking hungry on your lunch break and you want to look at me, then that's what we're here for. So we are going to eat a nice nutritious lunch today of a little roast beef Sim Sam sandwich. Uh, there's some coleslaw, a pickle. We have some little chippies, which I love. And a spindrift. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. They're like seltzers that have some actual juice in there, so it's not just like the idea of a flavor, it's an actual flavor. Not that the idea of a flavor is bad, it's just sometimes you want a little a little kick. Let's dive in. I'm pretty hungry. All I had to eat today was two scrambled eggs and a green juice. Oh my God, huge, obsessed, yum. If you guys are ever wondering where you can get like a quick lunch or if you're on a long drive and you want to stop somewhere, pick up a sandwich. Pretty much every grocery store in their deli section has like a make your own sandwich bar. And this is the most expensive one I've ever gotten. It's from Bristol Farms. I mean, great quality, but you pay for it. And this was only $10 so or $10.50. So anywhere that has a deli will usually have these. So I highly suggest if you guys are looking for a sandwich. I used to be so afraid to eat chips. I can't even tell you. Everything's fine. Just need to clean that up in a minute. What are you having for lunch? Mmm, that sounds good. What's something that your parents used to get mad at you about? Like at the dinner table, not like, you know, breaking curfew. For me, it was chewing with my mouth open and complaining about the food that was there. Cause they were like, you can have food on your plate, chill out, which was correct. Cheers. Spills all over my camera. Mmm. Oh my God. Is anybody watching Pam and Tommy? And can we talk about it? Holy crap. The acting in that show is some of the best I've ever seen. Sebastian Stan, listen. I usually try to be pretty wholesome on this channel. I said this channel like I have another channel where I'm not. I do not. <laughs> I usually try to be pretty wholesome when we're together because that's kind of just my vibe, but also like, you know, you have friends in real life for that. All of this to say, the things I would let Sebastian Stan Innumerable. He is so hot. He is so talented. His voice is so sexy. He's so cool. I love him. I'm in love with him. And my, I'm so, my brain is so stupid. That's not true. I take that back. I'm sorry. My brain is truly telling me like, I think you have a chance with him. And I'm like, no, I don't. I think he's 38 and like engaged to just a beautiful woman. Like beautiful actress. So t incredible as he should be. But in my head, I'm like, if he had met you first, things would have been different. <laughs> Which, who knows? Moral of the story, if you are of age and want to, you should watch Pam and Tommy. Oh my God. Speaking of people you should watch, you guys know I'm like a little bit on TikTok, like nothing crazy, but I'm on TikTok far too much. And, and because of what I get to do and like what my job gets to be, I'm like, mm, it's research. I just want to be on TikTok for like five hours a day. So before Pam and Tommy, the show came out, one of my favorite TikTokers, she is so talented, so funny, so cute, so smart, so well-spoken, so relatable, so likable, so like literally it, much like Sebastian Stan, but in a different way. I think if her and I met, we would be like truly the best of friends. I think she's just such a peach. You guys probably already know who I'm talking about by the way I'm describing her. Hello, Teffy. Oh, oh my God, what a dream. She just seems like the nicest human on the planet and she's incredible at what she does. She does these like pop culture mini series that remind me of like relatable, faster, like quippier, e true Hollywood stories. And she'll do like 15 parts and they'll each be a couple minutes and she'll put up pictures and she'll like just kind of go through the story of like a pop culture phenomenon. She's, she's I think one of my favorite entertainers right now. She did a great like 15 part series on Pam and Tommy before Pam and Tommy the show came out and she absolutely crushed it. So it got me more excited to watch the show. 
Anyway, that's the TV I've been watching. Isn't that interesting? That's like when somebody tells you their dream and you're just like, oh, it was your elementary school, but it was actually your parents' house. That's crazy. If I'm not in the dream and it wasn't fun, I don't wanna know about it. Look at this. Just a 15 out of 10 right there. This coleslaw is good, but I don't think I'd get it again. Not enough mayo. I wonder if by the time this comes out, I'll have a name for my podcast yet. I'm gonna have to have quite a little cleanup session after this. Here too. I haven't done one of these in a minute. I love some roast beef, I'll tell you what. What's been the best part of your 2022 so far? Leave yours in the comments and I'll tell you what mine's been after this bite. That's amazing. Congratulations. Love that for you. Mine is, um, I've been feeling very motivated. I just know, I feel in my heart that there are a lot of cool things happening this year. So I keep pushing myself to do the things that I know will get me to that place. Does that make sense? I'm just feeling very intentionally pushed and I know that it's great. So that's exciting. I think my man Renee threw a little extra, threw a little extra pepper jack on there and I greatly appreciate it. Oh, I watched the Tinder Swindler. Yikes, tell you what. Oh, I mean, why aren't you on dating apps? I just literally shook my fist in the air. I keep biting my cheek and it hurts so badly. And because I keep doing it, it keeps getting bigger and I keep biting it more. Mmm. This will be the last of the TV show discourse because I, but this is what I talk about like when I'm with my friends and stuff. So whatever, we are friends, so we're together. You're gonna have to hear about what I'm watching and what I hated, which wasn't just like that. Oh my God, I know. It's not a surprising take that I hate it because of course. I think HBO has sublime programming. I think that their writers are excellent. I think that their interface, gorgeous. I, everything about HBO I love, don't get me wrong. I ate and just like that up like a little piggy. I watched every episode the second it came out. Doesn't mean I liked it. Here's what's up. I would have thought that the show was literally 20 times better, if, even if every single thing was the same, except for what they did to Samantha. If they had just killed her off, I mean, kind of killed her off is the only thing because she was such a good friend that no matter where she was in the world, she would have, You, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Samantha was was and is and will always be the goat. And maybe it's because I, I fancy myself a Samantha, but I just like, you just can't do that to such a beloved character. You cannot. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did you watch it? She j she never would. She never would have not, you know? As much as this just sounds like what I have been watching on TV, it's also kind of an update on my life because all I've been doing is watching TV. <laughs> I just like, I get up, I go work out, I grocery shop, I come home, make a video, edit, do all my little worky work. And then I make dinner and I watch TV. Sometimes I'll have a glass of wine or a couple, sometimes I won't, but TV is always the constant. Which I would love to be somebody who like curls up with my little book and just, oh my God, I got lost at 1 a.m. already. I would kill to be that girl. And if you're that girl, that boy, that person, you're living my dream. But it is not a dream that I am going to actively pursue. <laughs> my family's always been a TV family. Actually, my dad and my mom both like to read a lot. So, oh, my little crows are here. I'm gonna go feed them in a minute. So TV was always important to us, so it, and it still is to me. I don't have to justify TV, I just fucking love TV. I have to bring my dead dad into this. And then when my mom and I talk every day, she and I will be like, oh, did you see Beanie Mania, which if you haven't, you should. So yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a nice little way to connect. So hopefully we got to connect today too over a nice little sandwich, the love of television and how great Hello Teffy is. As always, leave in the comments what you would like to see more of, what videos you would like me to do. Please make sure you check out my Patreon. We have the best time on there. I introduced cooking classes. I have a cooking master class that I offer on my Patreon that you will love. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you guys have the best day that you've had all week.